Hey everyone, Sir Terrible here again, and today we'll bring you another Kinemon game, this time against Whitebeard. It was a super, super close game, I'm not gonna spoil, make sure you stick around to the very end to see how it ends up. And remember, if you like our content and how we do these videos, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post one piece of gameplay every single day. Enjoy the game. In this match, we're gonna get Whitebeard. So this is gonna be really, really problematic. We obviously wanna go second. We have the Kinemon. I'm oh, sorry, we have the Olden. We don't have the Okiku. Let's mulligan. I think there's a good chance of us finding another Olden. We don't get it. So I guess we'll have to go Bonnie. Sucks that we lose the Bonnie though. We we have a pretty rough hand here. Oh man. Um Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Let's go ahead and do this. Has to be the kid. Everything else doesn't get to pick, and that's our first order in the bottom of our deck. Yeah, you go ahead and just attack into it. That's fine. I just want to be. I, I, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna really be attacking face that often, because it requires a down commitment. So I'm okay just attacking into the Nami. Let's take this. Let's take the first one. Okay, they get their Luffy, so we can go two here. One here, one here, I guess. So let's go ahead and attack the Nami. We'll play our Okiku out. Don't think it's going to really matter a lot, but they do play a lot of four cost units, like a four cost Vanillas. I'm just debating if I want to play out this Capone. I think I do. What I'm not going to do is that I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play the Bonnie. Well, do we even need the discount? I don't know that I need the discount next turn, to be honest. We don't have anything that we can discount. So I don't think it's necessary for me to keep less than, uh, like, have less than two units on the field. One is just going to pop one of these anyways. We do let them get the body on the... Ooh, they don't kill the bunny. They go after... Okay. Interesting. I'll take this one. I'll block this one. Okay, so this is at three, we're at five. We can give it one done and rest the Bista. We can play Killer, Momonosuke. That's two, three. One done here. Rest the Bista. Opponent could have double 2K. Nope, doesn't do it. Okay, so still want to play the Momo. And this, so that's going to be four done. So we can go six here then. Oh, well, we can also play the Bonnie out. Let's attack for five first. See if the opponent commits the counter value. It doesn't do it. Let's go ahead and punk Gibson, I guess. That's our, that's another set of Odin's, by the way. So this, uh, this is a very good chance that we don't hit the Odin here. Yeah, that's a very good chance. And by very good chance, you see that we literally didn't hit it. Um, let's go ESO. Let's let's just have the 2k counters, I guess. We can keep the two for this. But I don't think it's necessary for us to have the Punk Gibson. I think I like playing the killer. I like playing the killer here. I'm going to play super slow where we just let them take the life themselves. And we don't have to commit. If we clear their board, we should be okay. Okay, opponent gets their ace. Cool, cool. So that's your whole turn here. Okay, they're gonna go ahead and kill the Okiku. I'm gonna block to force the opponent to attack into us with the ace, right? So the opponent forced to attack here with the ace. Fortunately, we don't have anything else that we can do. We still keep both of our units here. The problem is the white bear, right? The white bear next turn means that the opponent doesn't take a life. And then they have the white beard to clear all our blockers. Not having Odin, because we saw all three Odin snap to the bottom. Well, we saw three of the four. So not having Odin is actually such a big deal in this matchup. I want to kill this ace. Obviously, the opponent could have a lot of value to get keep their ace alive. I wanna I wanna keep I wanna kill the ace, but this is not gonna work out for us, is it? 
I'm gonna have to commit four down, and then the opponent just needs to have four uh two two Ks. I guess let's start baiting it out. Yeah, let's just go here. It has to be a 2k and a 1k, so I guess it's not two 2 ks Yeah, there we go. 1k and a 2k, okay. So, we're just gonna have to trigger this, I think. Still don't get anything. Actually, we just whiff, right? I guess we can go... Yeah, we can go second Monosuke, and that could be okay. We want to have enough for the Punk Gibson, I think. Let's take the Apu. At this point, I'm just trying to cycle through my deck so that I can actually get those uh, that Odin that we know is in the bottom of our deck. The problem is that the opponent can just play White Beard here and still have two attacks with Ace and their new gate. And we literally have no unit that can attack into the Ace except for our leader. The Punk Gibson is nice, nice though. It lets us counter the Ace. I guess we could also come to the new gate. This is such a weird board. We find that Odin is really hard. Okay, that's not what I expected. That is not what I expected. Ha! Huh. We can punk Gibson, save the damage point, and rest the Luffy. Does he matter though? Does he matter? It doesn't matter, right? Because we probably want to rest it later on. So do we counter this one? I kind of like countering this one. We have so much counter value that I think is fine. Uh yeah, let's go right so here. Pony kept the five done. Do we do the same thing again where we put four on this guy? Let's search first. Still nothing. Still nothing. Um, aye, aye, aye. I guess. I guess we can go Paradise Waterfall. We have the seven for the kids. So if we put two here, we should be okay. Just be, the problem is I really don't want to. I think I have to go again for four. I think I have to go for the four again. Just keep baiting out their counters. They could have the radical beam now. Red Hawk, okay, cool. We have two for Punk Gibson. That's the Odin. Alright, so two for Punk Gibson, one for Paradise Waterfall. And we chill. I don't see why the opponents are attacking, right? That's still not a white beer like we expected. Yeah, opponent opponent does it correctly here where they go for the Luffy attack first. It makes a punk Gibson not be able to do anything. Um we could just counter here, which I think is probably correct. Now uh, we'll take, uh, do we take this one? Sure, we'll take this one. If you only attack for six, I will counter that when I have a 2k. Oh, you just gonna go after the Momo, really? Okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and summon this. We still have the Punk Gibson, which is probably what we need, right? And here we can start forcing answers out of them. I don't think I died. One, two, three, four. Four. The opponent has four attacks. I guess they could have another rush, so they could have five attacks next turn. They could have five attacks next turn. The only one that we can counter with the Punk Gibson is the Luffy. If we keep both the Paradise and the Punk Gibson, it's probably the best. But it means that we cannot do any attacks here. We could play the Killer Blocker, but then that doesn't... Like, the opponent doesn't have to play around the Punk Gibson. If the opponent has another rush ace, it's a problem. Hmm. Rush Luffy as well. I guess I, ha I guess I have to attack. Let's pass. Let's keep the three done. 
I'm just gonna go Odin twice. If I can survive this, I'll go Odin twice. Opponent again, opponent is doing it correctly. Where they do, we, they play around the punk Gibson, right? So they're playing around the punk Gibson correctly here. Um, we'll go ahead and do the two plus one. Opponent has tapped out of the rush cards, and then we'll go ahead and this one will go ahead and do two plus one again. And now the opponent only has two attacks, and we have two life. Here we'll go ahead and do for the punk Gibson. Actually, opponent has one, two. How much? How much done is here? I can't tell. Oh, they have two dawn so this is nine plus four is 13 we get to nine 11 13 so we have to block the no we don't have to we can just take it because we have another life let's just take it let's just take it i think it's not necessary for us to do anything here if we don't win this turn we lose anyways right so if we don't win this turn we're losing anyways now, the opponent has a lot of value here. I have to keep three down, so we can go 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 twice. That's 10, 14. The opponent has to have a 2K. What if we go 14 instead? I think we go 14. I think we go 14 and keep this as a 1. Opponent has enough. If they have four radical beams. No, I think let's just go all in. Let's just go all in. Yeah, let's just go all in. I'm going to assume that you don't have enough to counter 15 twice. Radical beam number one. It needs to be a second radical beam and a 2k. And then he needs to have two more radical beams after. Okay. All right, so does he have the two radical beams? Is the question. Does he have three radical beams total? Right, Hawk? They got it. And this is why the thing is that they had it. They had it. They had it. I mean, I tried, right? If I put 1K here, I would have been one off, right? It would have been 14 attacks. And opponent still would have been able to just keep the Frankie and not done anything, right? So I had to just go for it. Opponent just happened to have exactly enough, right? They had exactly enough and they get there. So that's one, two. Yeah, GG's. That was that was great. That was great. That was good for them. That was good for them. Did I let me see? One, two. The right hook is uh the radical bin is four, so that's six. And that's 10, so that's 16. So that's how they got to the 16 the second time. This is 2, 3, 5, 6, and another 10 here. Literally, it was exact. It was exact then. It was 10 and 10. They got to 16 twice. If they get to 15, any, like if any of those are a 1K, or if any of these is something that's not like a, something with counter value, they don't get there. So I think our odds were be were good. It just so happens that they literally had exactly this. So GG's opponent. That was well played. Hey, welcome back, everyone. It couldn't get any closer than that, right? It couldn't get any closer than that. Opponent played it correctly. They understood that they needed to keep their whole hand and not commit anything else. We could have probably put them on not having, like, obviously, like, any, like another ace or something because they didn't attack for Lito on the previous turn. But I have to just go for it, right? At this point, I know that... Anything that I do with the opponent, like I, I, I can't survive another turn, right? So I have my, I have my Odin down. I have to just go land, go for the two big 15k swings twice, and if they have it, they have it. And this is a situation where they had it. Now, opponent ended up having three events, you know, the double radical beam and the red hook, and then ended up having all the counters, and it could, it cannot get any closer than that. It was still a fun game, and that's why you're still seeing this in the channel, even though it was a loss. Tomorrow, we'll do one more game of Kinemon before we try to move on to something new. I'm still thinking whether it's Ivankov or Sanji, but I want to try out Blue because I haven't actually played Blue yet in this channel. So, hope you enjoyed today's, games. If, uh, today's game. If you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day.
Enjoy your day.